Hey guys, I just woke up and thought I'd do my update video for the month of July. Now, this first set I picked up at Goodwill, probably the first week of the month. And I have been wanting to see a lot more uh, from these guys. So, um, I saw this and knew I had to get it. It is uh, set four of Monty Python's Flying Circus uh, on VHS. Uh, this contains volume 10, 11, and 12. Um, and this is actually uh, a VHS set that um, A&E released back in 1999 um, doing the, the whole series. And, uh, you know, this is in fairly good condition. Um, and it only cost me $3, so I figured why not. Definitely want to get the, uh, the DVD set, the whole DVD set eventually, but uh, kind of need money to do that. Uh, speaking of money, I think this is probably going to be my... Um, last update for a while because I really need to catch up on on bills and I've got other things going on that is gonna um, cost money because my, my roommate just moved out and I can't find a new one so I'm um, for this month at least I'm probably gonna wind up paying the entire rent by myself so that should be fun but uh, moving on just picked this up last week. It is a double feature, Batman. Uh, this has the animated features Sub-Zero and Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Now, I pr primarily got this because um, I'm going to do Batman Month and I'm going to review these, um, but I just really wanted Batman Mask of the Phantasm because it is one of my favorite Batman animated features and I think it is probably the, the best Batman film ever made um, but I mean it, it's it's just really good um, I, I I wouldn't recommend getting this double feature though I, I I would say to get them separately I mean you can get Batman Mask of the Phantasm uh, for like four or five dollars on Amazon by itself because it, the reason is that this is a double-sided disc a flipper disc and I, I hate those with a passion but uh, this was seven dollars at Walmart, so I figured why not. Now, I found this at Walmart for twenty bucks actually, and it is the first season of Star Trek Voyager. I'm a huge Star Trek fan, and you know, I I, I went through the set in, in probably less than than four days. It only has, I believe, sixteen episodes. Yeah. And it, it, it was really fun uh, going back and watching these episodes. And uh, the case of this is pretty neat too. It comes in like three different parts. You have a top part there, and then this bottom part here, and then all the, the DVDs and the, and the orange digipack there. But of course on the back it shows you all the, uh, the episode titles and the air dates for them. So that's pretty neat. Moving on to the Blu-rays, I picked these two Blu-rays up at Hollywood Video. Uh, they were going out of business and had some uh, pretty good deals. Um, I think I got this one for about ten, twelve dollars. But it is Terminator Salvation, the director's cut. You know, I heard bad things about this film, but you know, I love the Terminator franchise. I really need to get the um, the other Terminator movies on Blu-ray. But, you know, I figured I'd go ahead and give this one a try. It was only $12. But this does have the director's cut, which I, I think only features, like... Yeah, it really only has uh, three more minutes uh, of footage in it, so... Not not much of a difference between those two. But this should be interesting to check out. I, I, I bought it, like, probably two weeks ago, so I haven't watched it yet. Uh, next one I got for... I think that I got this for around eight or nine dollars, but it is the taking of Pelham one two three, and this is actually a, a remake of a movie from the '70s starring um, Robert Shaw and Walter Matthau, um, and they they did change um, a few things in it. In the original, Walter Ma Matthau played a uh, detective in it that was trying to uh, bring down this guy, but um, in this one, Denzel Washington plays the role. Of um, let's see, he work. He's a, a subway dispatcher. 
But this was written by uh, Brian, uh, I believe it's Helgeland, Helgeland? Um, but he wrote uh, movies like L.A. Confidential, Mystic River, um, he had in the, uh, the new Robin Hood movie, as well as uh, Matt Damon in the, what was that movie, Green, Green Zone, he wrote that. Um, so, I mean, this is a, a well-written movie, and, uh, but, you know, it, it's still uh, fairly predictable by the numbers picture, but um, I have to say that the acting performances in it from, from Denzel Washington and John Travolta really carry the movie. And th this is a, a good watch.